Hey guys, Silicon Slave here. I've been uh, cooking up a new little toy I made in Max for Live, and I thought I'd show it to you guys and give you a little rundown of how it works, and um, give you a link to download it if you want. So this thing's called the MIDI multiplier, and essentially what it does is it takes any MIDI signal you send into it, and it creates two copies, one that you can pitch up and one that you can pitch down. And um, then what you can do is it also lets you like by hitting these buttons randomly assign it to a pitch and then these two knobs control what the sort of like range of those pitches are. Uh, what that means is if you have like really long slow sort of like like pads and sort of drone sort of sounds you start stacking up a bunch of these MIDI notes and creating really really interesting harmonic sort of uh, almost like chords but but even more like weird and sort of dissonant and the way they come in and out isn't quite it doesn't sound like you're playing them anyway. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you uh, just what this patch sounds like without the MIDI multiplier on it. And then, uh, so basically this thing is in bypass unless you hit this button. Um, and that's because this thing creates a lot of signal and it's something you want to be able to have like a sort of kill switch on. And by killing it this way as opposed to this way, you get to keep the sort of uh, MIDI tails that, that you get. But anyway, let's listen to... This is what it sounds like without the mini multiplier on it. We got wavetable. Nope. We've got a reverb here, and we've got a limiter at the end. That's just to, to stop one, because this thing, it makes shit loud. Okay, so anyway, that's, you got an idea what it sounds like. So we'll turn this on, and let's start, we'll make, let's make this one four, and this one seven. start adjusting. Let's go uh, six, five, twelve, eighteen. Uh, let's try twenty-two. When we hit these buttons, it will set the pitch to a random sort of value between a range of numbers of our choice, and a range of semitones, basically. So by turning this up, we make it so that we get a bigger, we get one, four, seven, one, four, seven, eight. So I think eight's probably the number there. And if we go higher up, you see we get a bigger range. And what this means is we can sort of just like play with these knobs and just press these buttons randomly and you'll get really nice sounds out of it. And if you take that info and then record it to a new MIDI channel or record it to audio, you can then use that information to make something really cool. So let's let's try doing that. Out of it, and I hope you have some. 
fun playing around with it because because I certainly had a lot of fun making it and uh, playing around with it too. Um, anyway, uh, all the best. Um, good luck with you guys' music or whatever you're doing with your life.